have kids out here. Um, no one All right, I'm gonna go through this vod and really point out things. Quite a bit of LSU ball. So I'm looking for some uh, for both teams, especially. So I'm just gonna take a look at them. All right. Before we talk about anything, Sanchez playlist running Sombra. So I can't see the whole team, whole Sinatra's playlist team right now, but it doesn't. It, I usually will have a person, usually like the Winston, will be in a little cubby, cubby tunnel, whatever you want to call it, with him. Um, because he wants to walk out, take some damage. I don't see where he is right now. But the the Winston, he was initially out in the open, and so he I think he ended up using his cooldown to get in the cave itself, and then the rest of the team was also pushed up in front, and so either there was a miscommunication or there was a misplay on his half where he wants to be sitting in that cave taking poke damage and then is able to walk out uh, either with his team and like take more poke and just keep feeding the somber alt charge. You don't want to split your team off so that they can chase kills down and take advantage of the fact that you have one healer. And so the one healer really has to like stick and be safe because it's Mercy, obviously. And she, uh, if she's out in the open, she can't have a Zen Orb or something on her. So if you have any teammates out in the open, you really need to have them um, go to the same location and protect them. So you'd have the Diva and the Winston like go together and like body team. And so you can't just have however memory however many members from where's ball day just come in and kill the winston even though you can have the mercy res right here it's so risky to have a mercy fly in and basically have a chance to just get insta killed afterwards so you just have to walk away see if they go for the res i don't think they will but see they go for the res like you've already lost a person to this point they're gonna come back fast because it's the winston but like this kind of trading is something that you don't want. You want to abuse the fact that Sombra is going to get EMP before anyone else is going to get ults. You look at the ults on the enemy team and you just have to have the tank feed a little bit more to her and get the safe mega in the gas station. But whenever you do this and you force uh, this hard where the res is going to get punished, like there's a ton of people in there sitting waiting for you, camping the body, you're just going to get punished. So. I don't know what happens here. I don't know how they lose this. Like, you kill the Mercy, you're in a prime location. Like, they misplay on the other team. Like, there should be no way this is punished, so... Just because this play ends up working for them, where they get they get in trade more kills, that doesn't mean this play should ever be, like, done before. Like, everyone on Sinatra's playlist is in a safe spot right now. They do not need to go and contest this body. They don't even have Matrix when they're coming in, so they don't even have the pressure of like putting a Matrix in so you can protect the Mercy when she go in, she's going in. Like, she's going in and getting it insta-killed. I think Convertible gets killed here by the Tracer, but he's like got his whole team on him, and a random tank is getting orbed right now. Like... There's just no paying attention to people's positionings. Like if if convertible's getting like hit right now, um, the diva doesn't need to be looking over here shooting the one Winston. She needs to be protecting the mercy and like paying attention to that. So either like it was like really poor communication from both sides to where people were and where people were getting pressured because like the mercy just fell from the other team. If your team just if Where's Balde plays safe, it's just going to be a 6v5 advantage where the Mercy has to come back, she doesn't have res, the Winston just got resed in front of an entire team, he should just get mowed down instantly, but they didn't know where the Tracer was, like there was no communication of that, or the people just didn't respond fast enough, so they end up just like losing a fight even harder because they weren't paying attention, and they lose their Mercy and start to get kills traded into them, and... Like, that's something that shouldn't happen. Like, that was, like, a really hard thrown, uh, like, like, you made a mistake where the Winston wasn't, like, covered up correctly, and then the Mercy had to suicide to go res him, but then the other team wasn't paying enough attention, so they let their own Mercy die whenever, like, it was, like, 
Tracer was just killing him, even though his whole team was there and could have turned around and protected him. Like, really big communication issues, talking between teammates. I was saying this before, uh, with the alts, that it doesn't matter if you have your mercy or someone die early, if you can res them, or if you play safe and take like a lot of damage, because Sombra is going to get alt first before anyone else. No one else is even close. The closest is uh, Tracer at 80% or Genji at 70%. Like The Sombra is just going to get alt faster. And so if none of this happened and they would have just played it differently, it would have been like completely different where you can just force onto them with the EMP wait, let them push up a little bit, and they then they can't contest the point as uh, as a whole unit. They have to spread out more, and then that's when you can EMP a couple of them, and then just take them out while they're on their own. So, the teams are a little bit split up here, uh, whereas Balde doesn't have... I guess they didn't have a soldier to help like protect the Mercy, to give like healing station, but... They need to have their flankers like in position, applying pressure, and so Mercy isn't going to get pressured herself. That's how these comps usually work, where you have like this unit applying so much frontline pressure and doing so much damage that the backline isn't going to be as hurt as much, whereas, say, a comp with Soldier and Mercy have to sit back more, and the tanks can play more like mid-ground, but they can't dive as far. But whenever you have this comp, you really need them to be applying a lot of pressure and the people that you'd want to sit in the back, so in this instance you'd want to have D.Va sitting further back with the Mercy and have the Genji playing far f further forward because Genji isn't as good as protecting as a D.Va is or even Monkey playing protection. You just want to have this assignment of heroes to be in a certain spot and in situations like this it should be communicated or it should be known that people should be in certain locations and not having to like supplement being like Genji can you sit with the Mercy um, but having the D.Va there to apply pressure it was inevitable that they were just going to get EMP'd so there's not a lot they can do you you really just have to bait it out um, okay we have to go back a little bit Okay, so something you want to do with Sombra is you want you want to play aggressive and you want to have your whole team be ready to follow up on the EMP. But you also need to realize that because you are using Sombra as a second healer, you don't have as much healing to go around. So whenever you are playing aggressively, you are going to take these even fights. Even if the enemies aren't going to be able to use abilities, they're going to be shooting you. They're going to be trying to take you down. So like sometimes kills are going to be traded. People just need to be very mindful of that so like in this trade you've already lost your tracer the winston is missing like two-thirds of his hp umber is missing half of her hp so like you need to like have communication in the fact that you you know you're going to get these kills because the emp goes off but you need to be mindful and be able to communicate and have like the game plan ahead of time so you'd communicate this with your teammates like okay we're going to rush these kills, we're going to get these kills. Once we get these kills, if people are low, you can just say, alright, we need to pull out now, we're all really low, we need to get the Mercy healing, or we need to start building up to our next DMP. But whenever you have these instances where, okay, this is good, like you see, like they traded, they have a bunch of kills. Um, but you see the HP bars, the D.Va is like actually one HP, Winston's half. And Mercy can only apply so much healing, and the Tracer is still dead. So the Mercy can only apply so much healing that if you do stay this far forward, you need to finish the kills off and then just pull back and realize that where your comp is lacking is where you can get punished, is the healing. The short-term, in-action healing that you need. And so right here, they're continuing this fight. Like, I know they've traded kills, but someone's getting rezzed on the other team, and they have people already coming back from the fight before where they had died. And they're starting and they're continuing this fight without having jumped all the way back um, with a D.Va at 1 HP, with a Winston at 1 HP. And neither of them have alt so they can stall this out. 
And because the Sombra has been getting the majority of the healing to Mercy, is going to be lower on the alt charge uh, compared. So, like, the trading kills-wise, this could have gone a lot worse. Like, you will get punished for having your tanks both being at 1 HP, having your Mercy having to be out in the open without her being, or without her having res. Like, whereas Baldai could have punished this much harder, and it was just like a really, a bigger mistake was the reason that they won, not playing correctly. So it's these types of plays where you see that, like, so many things are going wrong, but the other team is making so many mistakes that it, it doesn't make your play correct, because you want to just make your... you want to punish your enemy's mistakes more than trying to just cover up your mistakes with making, like, big hero plays and... <clears throat> and it's possible to just win these fights just way more dominantly than having all these trade kills and having alts having to be used where they don't need to be and you can win more dominantly by playing smarter. You don't have to cover up all your mistakes with these giant hero plays and So I'm wondering where the rest of the team is. Um, the Mercy's getting pressured right here. The tanks both have full HP, so I'm wondering if they're going to dive onto her. That's the like, biggest priority right now. See, uh, all right. There needs to be more clear communication here. So it needs to come from everyone, really. So in this instance, the tracer is walking up. I don't know where the tanks are because I can't see them in the spectator, but I imagine they're on roof or they're close because where I see them jump before. But the game plan needs to be like you're setting up for the play, like they're pushing on the cart. You guys are about to take the fight. If someone sees someone out of position, so in the in this case, Tracer needs to communicate. All right, I'm going to be pressuring the Mercy, and then as soon as you get her low, you need to have the game plan and the knowledge ahead of time knowing you need to be diving her coordinated because what happens right here he pops ult and he lives and the winston dives late and he just gets to live in this situation if it was like just a little bit sooner where if you knew the winston if the winston knew the information from the tracer he would have been able to follow up sooner the Mercy would have died, would have used ult, and that it's just a huge advantage because it's been two minutes for him to build up his ult. Um, all these plays just kind of like cascade into each other where like one misplay or one thing that should have been communicated leads to someone else doing something incorrectly or committing at a wrong time. And so whenever you have people like committing to a kill, oh, he's low, but... He hasn't communicated that he was shooting him and that he was going to chase him beforehand or that his HP was at. Um, then the next person dives in and then that person can't commit fully to kill the person. So it's just a bunch of these like half commits from people where they're getting them low. But the other team is coordinated and pushing together and they're getting kills and then it's just punishing them in the long term. So it's like another hero play where the Winston probably wanted to use this for something else but it's okay to use it for this but he dove he got low he has to pop his primal to finish off the zen but the mercy's been sitting in uh valkyrie so he she has the res this is another instance of um sinatra's rap playlist not playing towards their comp they took a extremely long team fight here, and they don't have a second support, so the sustain just isn't as strong. So I'm going to replay this, and we'll go over like the HP bars and. Okay, so I just saw Sombra. She's she's on her mega right now, so she can't commit to the fight. She's not close enough. The mercy should have been communicated to get jumped on. We know this. 
the Winston has to jump in. He gets low because he's out of position and like so probably the soldier was in like an okay position, but now he gets bombed. The diva gets bombed. Um Winston has to pop primal. The Zen dies, but the Valkyrie's already up because the play before wasn't executed properly. So you lost your soldier, so you lost one aspect of your healing. Your diva lost her mech basically to a monkey jumping and probably the communication wasn't there so like they got punished for probably not having a bubble there to save them before or they knew that they were going to be diving and so they wouldn't have been in that bad position before the soldier gets rezzed okay i was mistaken but it still stands where they're taking this long fight where where's baldai their hp bars are fine because they have double support and you can't catch up on uh, Sinatra's rap playlist, you can't take these long extended fights where people are out in the open and taking these long fights. You need to take quick, decisive fights or be baiting people, taking poke, and then walking back um, so you can EMP. You don't need to take these long extended fights out in the open because just eventually everyone is just going to start to lose HP bars and unless you have a mercy alt healing everyone up, uh, you're just all going to fall and that just ends up happening here. The Zen is going to be pocketed on high ground. They can't commit to him any longer. There's, their HP bars are too low. Uh, they've used ults already, and they're just going to get all taken out. So you're having to, like... Uh, I'll have to go back a little bit. Like There's just so many things going on where it's so many people on your team are dead and you're alting. Um, like EMP and Pulse Bomb are used when three teammates just died and so there's not going to be them coming back. So you're, so you're using alts to try to create... You're trying to turn like this colossal loss of a fight into like an even fight and so... They haven't even started using alts on Where's Baldai. Like they're they're ha they're coming up on three alts right now, um, and so you're trying to like make this like big hero turnaround to make an even fight, and then try to like outskill them at that instead of playing correctly, like playing correctly, like resetting, and then coming back with alts when it's more even instead of doing this play. Sure, they're they're their alts are a bit easier to get but like in these situations you're using alts in a in a not good situation so and unsurprisingly they get maybe a kill or two but because Where's Baldai already had the numbers to begin with. They're just trading their health bars, and now these people that just spawned from the previous fight are now left in this weird situation of, okay, we need to just run back, I guess, and we can't really contest. I think there is going to be a... Okay, there is a contest, but it can't be as strong. There's just a lot of alts like being used in bad situations. Like you're already like really hard losing the fight, and they're still using alts. Like they're trying to turn these fights around with like gigantic hero plays, hoping that like they can just solve all the problems that the uh, the rest of their teammates have caused. And you get this short satisfaction of okay, we just made like these big plays or whatever, like, oh my god, I'm killing so many people, but in reality, you just end up digging yourself into these bigger holes because if these teams start to realize this and start to improve, they're going to abuse the fact that you're using alts inappropriately and they're going to play more safe, like where's Baldai could have played safer in that situation had their people sitting further back and just had like the tanks out contesting the point, and so like you aren't able to do anything where 
most of the Korean teams and top teams would do that. And they'll just punish you in the fact that you're digging yourself these holes where you're just using alts, you're trading a kill or two, but you're losing the point eventually, so it doesn't matter, and you're not using your alts properly. And you just will get you'll you'll be in this perpetual use of we're using our alts, we're not getting anything off of it, they're still pushing into us, instead of waiting till the fight is in your favor where you can use alts and surprise them and jump on them from Sinatra's playlist and then actually punish them and not have these situations where you're just eventually going to lose over and over and over again if you're using your alts with man advantage man disadvantages where just a more clean play from them would lead to less alts needing needing to be used and less mistakes ne needing to be made um, to cover up so like when a teammate dies you just have to like play more aggressive or play safer where you want these situations like what they're doing right here where they have all six set up I think they had all six set up and you're able to go for the EMP and try to punish them I mean, this is a bit of like a really big play from Tracer. I don't think you know, unless someone communicated where the Tracer was that you were going to get killed off this. So I don't think enough of the team here was prepared to follow up on the, um, the EMP. Because I see the Winston here, but you want to be... You want the Sombra to be in Viz on the cart, basically, or like on top of the team, and using EMP as the team is doing damage. You don't want to you don't want to have these uh, lapses of time where the EMP is going off, and then after when they're starting to pull back because they've all gotten EMP'd, then you start doing damage, and your team's now all out of position where they've already backed off enough where they can start to shoot you and deal damage to you. You want these instances where your EMP and people are just evaporating instantly. So like this Zen is getting like damaged by the Winston as the EMP is going off. So he's getting burst at like 200 to zero instantly. He isn't dropping to 50 and then starting to take damage because you want to be killing these people instantly. You don't want to be letting them have time to heal up in this comp. And especially for Sinatra's playlist, you want to be taking these fights and you have the mobility with most of the members that you can jump on them and you can punish them instantly whereas they want to play a little bit further back and heal up and aren't going to be playing as aggressively so I don't know I don't get to see where everyone was but just from that Zen wasn't insta killed fast enough from what I can tell because this Winston is now at two-thirds again uh, I don't know if this tracer was communicated because now Soldier is unaware of where she was and she's able to just pulse bomb the Soldier for free in this fight. So the fight wasn't taken fast enough from what I can see because people on Where's Balde didn't die fast enough. There wasn't enough follow up and then as a, as a just another point the tracer was able to flank behind and kill two people basically for free like either she wasn't communicated where she was or she was like hiding and then you, just people need to be wary of it and as soon as the somber is killed the soldier needs to know where the tracer is so that he can respond to it and not just ignore it and get pulse bombed and die for free and then the fight is pretty even right now so alts are kind of it's it's okay I guess to trade alts here but Some of these alts are just like... So... I want to go back a little bit. I just want to see the position of these people because I'm not sure if these are the people that got rezzed. Okay, so... In this situation, you see how even it is? I think... What I would have said is to just basically use 
Sinatra's playlist remaining members and just sit on the point. You can go for the double res play right here, but you're in an even fight, so you can take the even fight. And they try to take the advantageous fight by using alts. So they go for the res on the Winston. They res Winston Soldier, okay. Okay, Soldier is in a good position, I'm pretty sure. Well, the Soldier res is fine. The Winston is out in the middle of nowhere. And then they die... They lose so much. How did they all die to this Diva Bomb? This Winston, I'm pretty sure, like, had cooldowns, so... It's curious how both of them died. Uh, the Diva... I'm pretty sure all of them have cooldowns, they just didn't avoid it properly. So, again, it's another it's another instance of, okay, it was an even fight, you could have just taken the even fight, but instead, the, the reinforcements from the offense are going to be there much sooner because the respawn is like right at the gate, and the defense is going to take way longer. So, you make the decision to go for the res, but either they didn't know that they had Diva Bomb, which is a mistake, because you should be keeping track of these things, and... Um, People died to the Diva Bomb. Like, they get res, they have their cooldowns up, and they still die to the Diva Bomb, so... You have these instances where, like, you're, you're again, you're using alts in these bad situations where it, it is even, okay, that's fine, but you're having to make up for people making mistakes, and it's having to, like, force people to do things that are probably incorrect, and they're out of position because they got resed in front of them, the middle of the enemy team, they probably had cooldowns, but they're going to get punished for it. And now Sinatra's playlist is both used. They used their um, Sombra ult, so you swap to Zen, that's fine. But then the Mercy used the ult, and then you just look on the other side, and the ults that they traded for it, so like, they used Diva Bomb, and that's it from Where's Bald Day. I think yeah, they use Tracer Bomb too. And I think they, they maybe used Zen ult early in the fight. I can't I can't remember. But they, they barely used much compared to the compared to Sinatra's rap playlist where they used a lot and they were not on the same page with some of the plans that some of them wanted to like go for. So like it just ends up just creating this perpetual cycle of making mistakes over and over and over again and they just comp they compound on each other where the other team can just start to build up a massive alt bank and they can just take these fights where you want to take these even fights or these ad advantageous fights where you have more alts than the other team but when you keep using alts um, and you keep putting yourself in this hole it's impossible to climb out of when you just keep making these mistakes over and over and over again And it just makes it that much harder to win the game, where if you just save these alts, let them get some push sometimes, some mistakes are made, you don't use all these alts. It some soldiers trading fire. I don't know if the soldiers... I can't see where the soldiers are, so they may not be in the proper positions, but... Um, how did these people take so much damage? Okay, soldiers, and maybe when I went bottom right with the soldier, the soldier Mercy, and then tried to take some high ground, um, the other team's going to be all set up for this fight. So, where's Balde? Uh, I don't even know I'm saying this name. Baletti, whatever. I don't know if they're going to be, or they're going to be set up. Like, they won the last fight, they should all be in position to just punish you. So when you send your whole team out this way, you're going to get punished. Like, there's going to be AoE that hits you. And so, for whatever reason, they try to walk out this door all together. The Winston drops, so he doesn't give Bubble to protect them. Okay, Winston's on a solo mission here. The two Winstons are fighting. This is kind of okay, but you just leave your whole team open to get, getting shot at in this, like, open room. Like, D.Va can only Matrix for so long, and if you are going to open with a D.Va Bomb, then you just need to do it and have your team dive with it together. But they end up just trading the HP bars you just see right here 
Sinatra's rap playlist is just taking so much damage because they don't have their main tanks. Their main tanks are sitting right here. For this Winston, look at his fucking face. He's laughing his ass off because um, the HP bars are just getting traded. Nitrogen doesn't have to give a shit about his HP because he's gone old. He's just able to just run into this room with everyone stacked on each other and they're all just getting destroyed damage-wise. And the HP bars on this font. Like, Nitrogen was the only one trading HP here. The rest of the team was all out on this overhang, and the rest of the... Um... Yeah. They were just all in a good position. Like, the soldier is in such a safe position right now. Like, he literally cannot get punished unless... Yeah, Winston just jumps on him. Like, Winston and D.Va. But you have to jump so far to do any damage to him. The Zen's a little far up, but... This could have gotten punished harder. Like, I think if you were to track the HPs, like, if D.Va would have dove in at the same time as the monkey, like, at least one or two kills would have been traded more, because they got really, really low. D.Va bomb was thrown out. I think might have just been to zone the monkey. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like that's what it was. I hate these kind of visors. I'm going to go back and look at it because Soldier Visor is so good in these situations where you're on the catwalk, but you have to have a team that is very well communicative and knows what's going to happen because in these instances you can see in these situations where people are and you see you 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 have this in like intuition in your head you're like okay I've seen these cooldowns go down, I should be popping attack visor right now, but if you don't have a good idea of their alts, you're going to get punished for it. So like, um, who is above the visor? Is that the friendly diva? Okay, like, there's still a trance going on. There's still a trance over here, and like, the supports are out in the open, like sure there's a trance, but you need to be able to like, visor whenever they're like getting out of the trance and like if the zen is standing right here he's just gonna walk right here so like this there's a bubble down like the visor is just not good like it doesn't get any value at all sure you might be able to kill the tracer but the tracer just trades with you like she she literally just pulse bombs you and just kills you Mercy comes in for the res, and now the rest of the team is just too far pushed up. They don't have a soldier to back up their damage. They pump the trance, and it's good, because Nitrogen dove too far on his own, and he wasn't able to finish off anyone. Sinatra's rap playlist just need to take high ground together. They have the man advantage. They should be taking high ground together. Okay, they're getting get zoned by the Steva bomb. Like, what even happened here? Like, the other team has a man disadvantage. Why are you getting bullied so hard? You need to walk out together. Like, if you're walking out with your soldier and they don't have a Winston, like, they're just going to get shot at by the soldier and they just have to, like, walk backwards because they don't have any damage mitigation. Maybe the Matrix for a little bit. But, like, these situations where you're getting bullied away and you have the man advantage, it's not good. Like, they just got Diva Mech. They should... The Nitrogen is still dead. They're healing up the Winston, sure, but they need to be, like, taking high ground together, like, as a team, and, like, using the Soldier to, like, push people away. Like, Nitrogen just spawned. What is Soldier doing? Hobbs, what are you doing, man? You're tilting me right now. You need to be taking high ground and pushing all these people out in the open away. He's running in circles running in circles, and his tanks are taking fights right now. And you've just given, you've given time for Nitrogen to get back with this play. So like, no decisive play was made. There was just a bunch of running in circles, healing up these tanks, but like, these are the situations where you need to be pushing the enemy team away. You give yourself like time 
to get more high ground advantage and to like be able to abuse them as you're like pushing them away because you have the man advantage it doesn't matter if your tanks are low if you're healing them currently and they aren't able to damage mitigate but like everyone kind of just like stood in this area and didn't do anything and just waited to get re-engaged on and so okay when he gets the pulse bomb kill but it just gets instantly rest like Pulse bombs, I don't think, are good anymore for getting solo kills on anyone, unless you know you can kill the Mercy like instantly after. So you have like a plan to attack the Mercy instantly after. Otherwise, you're just trading an alt for a 30 second cooldown, and the 30 second cooldown is going to be up before the alt most likely. So, unless of course you're trying to like do it early when someone's ulting, but soldier didn't have alt, so the soldier. Hobbs is in like a terrible position right now. Like his team got diva bombed. Everyone's just getting shit stomped, and he's on the ground because he w he didn't reposition after the fight properly, and he wasn't pressuring. So like, his whole team is dead. He's on the ground, and he just has to run in, and he just does not have any good line of sight for taking a good fight. There's a lot of people just out of position and doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Especially in a one fight, you need to be taking stronger advantages than that, than just milling around waiting for the other team to like have an advantage. This is the position to be in on the other team. This is where you want your soldier to be. They can't do anything if they come in to contest. I don't know if he needed attack visor there. He was in such a good position, he probably could have just shot them, but I think it's fine. So, okay. Let's retake a look at this. Like, Okay, they win the fight. This is good. I don't want to go back too far. Okay, they win the fight. There's still people dead on Zanatra's rap playlist, so like... These members right here just need to be abusing and taking high ground and just shooting these people when they come out of spawn. Or just walking up at least a little bit further so you can punish the people that are trying to walk out of the spawn without having a full team grouped up. But, again, there's more just milling around. People don't know their roles. Like, this is good. You need to be walking forward. Why are people so scared? I think someone called, like, we need to be three on payload, but you don't need to have three on payload. Like, these are the situations where you can just punish the enemy team, where they have people out. You will have the man advantage because you just killed two people, and they don't have a full team out, and you can be abusing the high ground with your soldier even more than you are. You don't want to just let the other team get positions for free when you can punish them for this. So, like, the situation where the soldier, the soldier could be propped up here with two tanks. And you could just have one person on the payload or two people on the payload and then just have like the Zen just like peeking around the corner, touching payload and just orbing someone up top. And then you just have like a person or two sitting looking at this room. So you have like tracer or something. Like you don't need to commit three people to pushing the cart. Like it is optimal sometimes to do it, but whenever you're giving the other team high ground positions. Okay, the soldier wanted to flank. Um uh, Hobbs wanted to flank and shoot them behind, which I, it's not that good, like you want to be using a uh, trailer as much as possible, and he could have gotten just insta-killed here, like it could have been coordinated better, but he could have just gotten insta-killed there, where this high ground position isn't as, isn't as good, like he was able to shoot people a little bit, but he's he's just having to run, he just had to run for like the majority of that fight. Like, it's painful to me in watching some of these fights where the soldier needs to be in, like, a perch, basically acting as if he is a bastion. Like, he needs to be putting pressure. You can't have your soldier constantly being pushed and having to run away in these situations because if the other team, so if the other team has a soldier who's in position, you just have so many things to catch up on where your soldier has to just run away, heal up, reload... The sports are having to focus to heal him. Your tanks are now having to apply pressure either onto the people that are diving the soldier 
or apply pressure to their soldier, so you just, like, you're losing this war of, like, your HP bars are being traded faster than you can, like, gain them back because someone was out of position and then they have to reposition and then your whole team is just taking damage, you're feeding more alts to the other team. So it's just like these things start to cascade onto each other. Like, okay. So, okay. He had to back out, he had to get healed up. Um, Chrono had to pop ult, and he's getting, like, he's feeding a lot of ult, because I think he was Discord, and he's out in the open, he's primaling people, but... The advantage he's getting is, like, huge, because... Again, it's Winston trading HP, where he can be getting healed alone, and the rest of the team is out in the open, just able to shoot people, and... Everyone else is taking damage. It's like the Winston gets traded, like, these are the perfect instances for Mercy. You have one person playing mega aggro, maybe like two people playing as a unit, and you just want your tanks to be resed because they just get the most value, they have the highest HP pool, and you just have the rest of the team to just like set up crossfires and shoot people as someone's playing mega aggressive. Do you just have this value of, okay, the Winston got rezzed, the Zen got rezzed, but the Zen is out in the middle of nowhere, and there's a Tracer and a Monkey on them, and like, you just get punished for these instances where like, you just rezzed people, but they're just like, dying instantly, or they're just out of position already. Just can't keep track of the, like all that fight, because camera work isn't good enough, but there's just like a lot of alts trading. A good pulse bomb, but I'm more concerned where the soldier is. Like, the soldier is on the ground again. Like, he needs to be high ground. He needs to be abusing these long range sites where he can be punishing the tanks. You want to have these pushes, but you need to have people be in the correct in the correct spots. Like you don't have suit. And so you want to either be playing back or having your soldier being like a pressure tool with your Winston and letting your Tiva sit on point. So like the soldier is over here contesting, but like you know you're just not going to be strong enough, so because you don't have suit, so you just you you have to make the conscious decision to just play safer and have your soldier in a good position to do damage. When he's right here, he has to just run away. So like a kill gets traded, he gets rezzed, but like you just see these situations that unfold where the Winston's the one taking damage again, and like teams are just trading HP incorrectly. You want your tanks to just be taking the damage when you can. Especially when you can control the engagements, like when the team isn't pressuring you hard enough, and you have the choice where to take the fight, you need to be taking it correctly. Not having soldiers just constantly running away because they were improperly positioned. Hobbs just walks back a little bit. This is good, he has his tanks playing with him. Pulse Bomb isn't able to do anything. Uh, did he get left? Like, I know he's getting a lot of kills traded, but like, I feel like this was played correctly. But, he either needed to have a tank stick with him more, or... Okay, like, the Winston dives in. Diva's with him, like, this is good. He pops the visor. Okay, he stops getting Mercy healed, I think that's it. Like, that, that that should be communicated. Like, you should have the Mercy just straight pocketing you. There's no one else on your team that's low. Mercy should just be sticking with you. Mercy's full HP, there's no pressure on her. Soldier should not be tack visoring with a Mercy... The Mercy went and rest the monkey? Hold on, let's back on. Oh my god, Chrono Data got absolutely insta-killed. 
Okay, so he goes for the res, but he doesn't. you don't need to insta-res people in fights. As long as you get the res off, like, somewhere in the middle of the fight, it's fine. But if you have a soldier and he's getting pressured, he should not be dying with his visor up if the Mercy is alive, if the Mercy and Zen are alive, and they can be healing him, because they're already winning the fight. But they just lose it due to, like, going for this res on this monkey, but you need to just keep your soldier up. So Hobbs just is popping visor, and it's not well communicated on where the mercy needs to be. It's gonna be into a diva and a Winston here. She's not I mean, this is probably just a case of just him popping visor without saying anything. Like he's like close to visor, he hasn't said anything, and he hasn't told the mercy, "You need to be with me because I'm getting pressured right now." I'm sure, you don't need to say it like that, but you just you need to have this communication where. You aren't just popping visor and then just being like, heal me, heal me, heal me. As you're getting, like, killed, you need to be planning ahead and knowing where people should be before things happen. So, like, being like, okay, I'm in a really good position right now. I'm gonna pop visor. I'm gonna need some healing beforehand. Just information needs to be called out so that people know what to do beforehand. Because that visor was in like a wonderful position, and if he had the mercy with him, you can just heal the soldier for a little bit, and then when he's in a safe position where he's like not getting killed by Tracer and Diva, um, you're just able to res the monkey afterwards because they're going to be like low HP, either dead from the visor or getting pressured. So. A lot of trading here. This is your kill. They are down three people. Bardo is going to be taken out of the mech here. They don't have the mercy at their back. Yeah, I don't like the soldier sitting on the cart and in this position. He just. You want to just be constantly taking high ground with soldier because you just force people to use cooldowns to get up to you. Where if you're using them and if you're standing, if you're standing on the ground, people can just walk to you. Or if you're up on high ground, you're able to run there, and nobody else is able to run there unless a soldier contests you, but then soldier contesting you point blank will just have your team. If you're on a correct high ground, your team should just be able to punish them because their soldier will be pushed up too far, and then the tanks can just jump on him and kill him. Where you want to have these soldiers be in a good position, if he is getting pressured a lot, you just have your tanks fall back, and you just create these advantages where you just stick your team on top of like whoever's getting pressured and you're just able to insta kill them because they're getting discorded and mercy damage boosted shot at by a soldier and they're just getting evaporated let's see let's get forward a little bit It's basically mirror comps. They're running Widow, which is fine. I've yet. Ugh. I've just had some interesting positioning, so we'll have to see. I don't know why he's swapping. I think the Widow's fine here. I mean, you can go to just standard, but. Notice there wasn't any Sombra. Standard dive poking. Deep is way too far out. What what even happened here? Okay. Like why does he die? Your tanks want to just be making room for the soldier and the tracer to just shoot at people. So let's look where let's look where uh the soldier is when the diva dies. Like soldier shooting behind shooting people behind cart. Where's the diva? The diva's over here, behind the wall, fighting people that the soldier has no POV of. So this is perfect by Sinatra's playlist. You just LOS the soldier, kill the people that are out of position. And then you just camp the body. 
and then the other team is just in this massive disadvantage now where they've just straight up lost a member it's going to be like a major risk to go for the res and your soldier has just not gotten as much value like these reses are just so risky like you're going into another team you're not getting matrix for because you they killed the diva and so it's basically just a suicide res and then once your mercy is dead you just lost your main healer and then everyone is just primed to fall after that because they don't have the main healing everyone is all over the place the diva had to de like re-enter mech like in the other team basically And these skills just get traded in their favor because one misplay just leads to a bunch of cascading misplays after the fact. He's been trying to sneak. He's out. He's out way before anyone's even there. What was that? Let's see. He was just out way before anyone had even like really shown. So like this is fine. You're trying to poke them off. Here Winston takes a little bit too much damage, doesn't get the dive that he wants. That's alright. But your tracer just respawned. You have time to group his six before you can test this point. Winston just tries to sneak gear. And he just has like four people shoot him and then he's just one HP. And used all his cooldowns and he's out in the open and he's just gonna get killed. Like, the soldier was contesting a little bit, but then he got pressured, and then, like, the team the team fell back. Like, they realized, okay, I should be using their names more. So, Sinatra's playlist, they weren't able to get the dive out on Zoom, and so they just pulled back, they're like, it's fine, but then they notice someone else is out of position, so they just go to punish him, like, right after. Like, these positional mistakes just destroy your team because one person dying just leads to a bunch more of people having to miss position after the fact to make up for your mistakes where when you're coordinated and you know where people are supposed to be you can just play like correctly and just be doing more with your role and you aren't having to like make up for people making all these mistakes all the time because you see this Winston fall like they're getting traded, but like you can see the HP bar difference. It's it's the same case every time. It's it's the same thing every fight. Someone's using their alts improperly, someone's out of position, then alts are just getting spammed after the fact when it's a losing fight, they're not going to gain anything from it, the chance that they win the fight is like 10 to 20 percent, and then people are pushed up far or in the wrong positions, and then they're having to like use their alts to get out of the current positions, and then they're ending up just putting themselves in a hole, and then the next fight the team has more alts, and they're just able to punish them and roll them, and this keeps happening from both teams. I would have Soldier over here on the left side. On this roof, it's harder to have him. Like, he gets to punish in this little crevice a little bit more, but whenever he's on the left side, it's it's way harder to punish him. And you can just set up, like, crossfires and have, like, the Diva there, the Winston there. Like, just have people set up in different positions rather than all being stacked together. I mean, that's fine. Why the Zen should not be the first one dying in these fights? Like he was like frontlining or something because he like took a helix out, took a helix before any of his teammates did, and so they're already they're starting the fight off without a res. Like they came out kind of contesting together. Like I see them mostly fly out together, but you see like you need to walk as a unit. Like you see the people on the cart, so like you need to think about the fight and think about where people are going to be. So like. You just have the team walk out together onto this catwalk and have your soldier set up in position because you know the major like there are they're gonna have four members pushed forward and they're gonna have two members or one member on the cart. And so 
you're going to push with the six-man unit into five or four, and so you're just going to win it straight up if you just take the fight together. But what happens over and over and over again is people will just see someone they think is out of position, they're just getting baited into it, and they just end up just killing themselves going for these incorrect fights. Like, they've already used their res. They don't have their res. Coming up on res soon with his ult. Winston needed help there, or they're thinking about resing him. But this cart's been pushing the whole time. Like, there was a dive from the other team, but it was incorrect, and so the cart's been not stopped at all. There's been trading of ults and trading of kills, but when the cart doesn't stop, that's a win for the offensive team always. Like, if they end up losing the fight, that's fine, because they've had the cart pushing the whole time. I think it's just another instance of just people using ults randomly here. <laughs> that was a weird soldier bug. So Nacho started to lay, Nacho's playlist, rap playlist, Jesus Christ's fucking name, started to lose the fight eventually there, and then they just kept using alts, and so now they're in a disadvantage, but, uh, it's not the worst case they're in, because they've been able to just, like, take, take positions from the other team. What is the soldier doing? He just straight up just walked into this Winston. Why is he that far forward? Why is he there? That's just my question. Question for the world. Why is he there? So like, Hobbs should be going through tunnel right now. In this position, he can, can't shoot anyone. Okay, he has to run. Like, Soldier should be over here. They won the last fight. I don't know why he doesn't have a good position right now. He decides to be on stairs and then just walks through the Winston. Okay. Winston's taking a shit ton of damage. Shouldn't be taking this much damage. He's mispositioned, so he's going to die, of course. Standing far forward with no shield. Okay. <clears throat> like, you can res him, like the Winston, but he was, like, so far forward that these people just get, like, insta-killed. Like, they get the res off, but then they just, like, die instantly after because of the mistakes that were made before, and then the Mercy isn't protected and so they die instantly after like these mistakes shouldn't be happening like and also like the, the soldier wasn't punished there like the soldier just walked and was in like a horrible position while zoom was in no, Hobbs was in the bad position rather right no zoom was zoom was in the bad position I keep getting these fucking soldiers mistaken because they keep doing the same goddamn things and their names kind of look similar to me even though they aren't similar So many people just mispositioning. That's fine. The, sol the tracer's flanking gets killed. That's fine usually. Like he went for a bit of an aggressive push. Like there wasn't any scouting or anything. Like he, but it's alright. Sometimes it just happens. You. Oh god, why? What are they doing? You just lost your tracer. You're going to have a tracer on top of you now. Like, it's okay to lose people and to just back off. Like, you don't need to just make up for these mistakes. Like, it's fine. Someone died. You have enough time. Reset. It's all good. You don't need to... Uh, the kill gets traded, they can't get the res. That's fine, okay? You just back up. Now here, here's the situation. They, they can all just back up. Hobbs is 1 HP in visors. And let's see where he is. He's in... His, his, his visor was used and he's literally here where he's just shooting at a wall or shooting at a D.Va matrix. I don't know if that was a misclick, 
but he got zero value off that visor. His teammate was already dead. And, yeah, they're already in a numbers disadvantage. Thank you, Caster. They're just gonna get mopped up. Like, they're all gonna get knocked off. Ugh. It's painful. It's really painful to watch. I don't think they needed that Winston all. It's fine to clean up the fight with it, though. That's good. Soldier is in a fine spot. The problem always that ends up happening is like, you think this spot is so good, like, where the soldier is like, oh my god, I'm getting poke off on these people, I'm getting poke off on these people. But as soon as they start to walk out here, you just have to like walk back on the stairs. Where if you're playing over on this left side, on the walkway, you can just like play the corner. It gives your mercy a better jump. Sure, you don't get to poke them as much here, and it doesn't do as much damage here. But whenever they, whenever they inevitably dive on top of you. You aren't going to have this horrible position where you have to run for half the fight to get back into a good position. You can just walk back a little bit or just have the mercy jump to you. I don't even know what's going to happen in this fight because I haven't watched this yet. But like, it always ends up happening where the soldier just gets punished right there. You have you have your your tank alts, um, with Sinatra's rap playlist. You want to be pushing with these, so like, it's fine. You see the soldier in like a good position, but the team isn't following up on it. Like they're out here in the open, like they're walking out with the soldier. That's fine, but why are you using alts? You want your soldier to be, if you are going to do this, you are going to trade Winston bubbles and just have your soldier shoot, then you just sit with your tanks here. <clears throat> they just end up, like, wanting to take this soldier v soldier duel and, like, pushing them off high ground with, like, just actually just shooting them, but then they just use an ult. And then they just end up trading trances and using mercy. Uh, they just pop them at the same time, like, they're not diving. They were just standing on the rooftop, not pushing yet. I don't know why they walked forward. Like they just hide from the diva bomb and then recontest when their alts are just all used up. I guess okay, maybe someone got picked and you just stall on the point, but. Soldiers on the spot again. This is fine, they can't really do anything. This is a good visor, just shooting people as they come out. Yeah, this is fine, they can't do anything. They just have to come on, kill themselves, trying to get onto the point. Alts were used. Like, you see, they, they're in, like, god tier position. It's like you're not going to be able to push them off. You're just. You're basically hero playing the point, and it. It's not gonna work. I don't like these instances where you're just like in such a disadvantage. You're popping alts, trying to regain these advantages where you just you just have to have your players play so insanely good that like it's not worth using the alts because you just put yourself in these holes. And it's almost like inevitable that you're gonna lose the point. Maybe if you like get a kill early on the other team and you camp the body, then that's when you pop alts. But like. You're coming in, you're already taking like damage, you just you want to be saving these alts for situations like this where you are like taking the even fights and you're able to actually like push them backwards. <coughs> this is running a bit long because I'm having to pause this so damn much. He does solo. Like, why are you diving solo? It's fine if you dive like really aggressively and you're like trading cooldowns and stuff. I guess you pushed him off high ground, but he didn't even need to fall off high ground. But what do you gain from this? So like, 
But like, okay, you do need to push the soldier off, but like, you're taking poke damage like while you're sitting on the ground and while you're in the air. So you're like coming up top, you're already low. Okay, I guess the push does hit him off high ground and you res him instantly after, but... Like, you're down a res right now, and you've traded you've traded your res and your suicide for pushing soldier off high ground, which is, which is okay. But you need to have follow-up after that. So you either needed to have the D.Va diving with you so that she can, sh she can like, eat some of the bullets while you're flying up there, and so you aren't going to get insta-killed as fast, so you're actually able to do damage while you're up there with him, not just push him off, or have the tracer, like, underneath sitting here or behind him and like shooting him as he falls but like these plays are just being made where it's just basically one person going in killing himself someone's just like okay we have to res him to continue this fight and then you're just down and this fucking visual bug it looks so silly god visors dude these visors are tilting the fuck out of me why are pop why are people popping visors when there's fucking trances active? Okay, there's a trance. Trance on the other team. It's going going active for like two seconds. Pops a visor. And he's just shooting nothing. Like he shoots the mercy a bit, but she's she was getting healed by like so tilting like he's shooting like diva matrix winston bubble and just people in trance with visor and it's not going to do anything and it doesn't end up doing anything and then he just went melee range with the other team with his visor while they're in trance and then he's just in such a shit position like the whole team just gets wiped after Other team just gets to set up. Soldiers in a good position. This is this is really good. I think someone should be with the soldier other than the mercy. There should be a tank with him. Maybe just have the monkey sitting up there with him. I guess it's fine to be zapping the people out here, but uh, this is somewhat fine. It's kind of hard to track the fight when the fucking tracers just blinking all over the place, but. We've just been able to sit up on the high ground the whole time here. Just been shooting people for free. Not really getting contested. They're cleaning up kills. They're trading a little bit of HP. But... Yeah, they're just following the trace so I can keep fucking track of this. So it was a bit of a messy fight. I think even if I went back, I would have been able to keep track of like what everything ha what happened to everyone. Pretty sure Sinatra's rap playlist is just gonna lose this fight because of the spawns. This <laughs> Pfizer just constantly bugged. Holy shit! All right. How does he say it? Where's Balete? Hold on, let's go back. I was probably saying their name wrong the whole time. Balte? I don't fucking know. I was saying, I was reading Where's Baldo this whole fucking time, so. Uh, whatever, dude. There was so many mistakes in this match, though. Like, these teams really need to just focus on where where people need to be, because people are going for these plays, I'm sure, without communicating them properly or without set plays beforehand, and they're just killing themselves basically because they're not realizing where the other team is. Like, you need to, like, at least scout where the other team is or have your team walking in behind you so you can, like, properly trade your HP and your cooldowns for their cooldowns and their HP, not just, like, trading your body for nothing, and then using alts to like try to make up for it because it just ends this just inevitable snowball against you and just really destroys your team.